So the first thing that you want to do is make sure the server is available and can be connected to because obviously if we cannot connect to the server then it doesn't make sense we try to update the database we get an error so i'm going to launch my um, azure data studio and what i'm going to do is start up a new server connection and here you can actually choose to connect with parameters where you put in the server put in database etc etc or you can just use the connection string so I think that's easier because you know the connection string. So you can just copy the part between the quotation marks. Don't get the quotation marks. It will give you an error. And you can just paste that here and then click connect. All right. And then after a few seconds, I get this error. Network related or instance specific error has occurred. So if you have spent enough time around SQL Server, you can definitely tell that this is just saying it could not make a connection because it cannot see the server. Now, why can't it see the server? Well, in my case, it's an easy answer. It's because I don't have the container running. So that's another convenient thing about containers. If you don't want the app running, you stop the container. When you want it, you start it back. All right, so since the last time you saw my Docker UI, I did some cleaning up and some refactoring. But here is my SQL container. And you see that it is in a stopped state. So I'm just going to go ahead and start it. I can do that by clicking start here. I can click on the container and click start there. And alternatively, if you have the CLI or prefer to use the CLI, you can always do something like docker ps-a 